good morning. This is Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quotes for You. <clears throat> I've opened up a can of worms. <laughs> no, not really. Um, one of my last videos was I, I was thinking about doing a new project, which um, I'm pleased about. I have my sojo back a little bit. Um, no, as I was saying, no pressure, no pressure on anybody, on anybody. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I am going to be doing a row by row quilt. And I have not commented on any of your um, comments and you must forgive me. I'm just going to put a little heart on a little bit later. I've just come in um, from the rain actually. I was soaking wet. Um, it's raining here. We were just out at our congregation. I've just come in because I wanted to acknowledge everybody's enthusiasm for this project. <laughs> a lot of people have said, oh yes, may, let's make a row by row quilt. Um, so many people, I've never done a row by row quilt. Now this is the interesting part. I've never done this. So, and I don't have patterns. Oh no, I will have a pattern and I will be showing you like I do, repeat, 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 um, how to make a block. And then we're going to be making maybe five of them or maybe 10 of them. Now, I'm not going to be making 50 of the same blocks. Uh, I'm going to be changing it up. I'm not quite sure what colorways. Again, I'm just putting my thinking cap on and I'm throwing this out to you. But Kathleen, this was a this was a lovely suggestion. So many people. I love houses, pinwheels, cats, lighthouses, log cabins, butterfly, chevron. Whatever, whatever you do is great. <laughs> but she wants houses, pinwheels, cats, lighthouses, log cabins, butterflies, and chevrons. <laughs> somebody else, somebody else said, oh, um, I would like a quilt with the bigger blocks rather than the teeny ones because I was showing you there was a, a quilt that was made with like three inch blocks. But I was thinking since this is a beginner's quilt, absolutely, absolutely, I will, I'm going to start out with um, perfectly easy beginner blocks, how I do it. If you go back to my original 2018 block party, um, my sampler blocks were 12 inch, a four patch. Extremely simple, but this is for you guys if you've never even made a quilt before. If you are a beginner, somebody says, I have a short attention span here. I don't want to do teeny ones, but I was thinking about it. I'm going to be making these up. This quilt will be evolving as I'm making it, but maybe at the end of the process, when before we put it all together or however I However, I'm putting mine together. I may be doing small blocks and you guys may be more comfortable at that point having honed your some basic skills to make smaller blocks or not. <laughs> you know, I make small blocks. You don't have to. Um, yeah, so many people hadn't heard of a heard, hadn't heard of a row by row quilt, but so many people that would be great. Great idea. Sounds like fun. Wonderful. Love it super idea could be so pretty so i'm in for the project i want everybody's in for this project and i now have to do it i've committed myself but i think it'll be i think it'll be fun um let me see um again i don't make big quilts a wall hanging or a lap quilt sounds inviting i don't know i like the oh now somebody joe says i like the seaside type or water themed personally Hmm. I too will have to do some researching on this style of quilt. Thanks for your info. I didn't know I needed. <laughs> Jay, that's funny in my life. Can't wait to see what you come up with. I can't wait to see what I come up with either. Now again, like the the idea of um a themed quilt. Um, maybe a springy quilt. Well, maybe it'll take us till December to make it. But like a spring quilt, or like with tulips or butterflies. Now that way because I'm not providing a pattern, but I, I could provide a, uh, a very simple, you know, butterfly shape and you guys could copy it like for a, for like an applique with a blanket stitch or a satin stitch or a zigzag stitch. I've done that before in my block parties and people are like, Oh, how would you do that? But we could do that. I could show you how to do that with the, with the, um, uh, uh, generalized 
measurements or, or the shape like that type of thing like an applique i want to change it up i just don't want to do you know the block a block of pinwheels a block of log cabins i want to change it up a bit with some applique maybe i had seen some on pinterest like a um a clothesline like having one whole row of like a clothesline with little little um like a summertime clothesline with little uh like shirts and little trousers well we could cut them out like just the silhouette just the shape and i was thinking maybe like on a line of rickrack you know me and my rickrack and that could be like a row that could be a little pretty row but i would i would describe that um as i'm doing it um a row by row with jean sounds like a hoot <laughs> everybody so many people oh dear oh dear oh it'd be an awesome project lovely idea would love to do it as a beginner i would love to start with making a row by row quilt okay wow and anita yes hi jean i was looking through all the comments regarding the row by row idea i think it'd be a great hit with your subscribers i am mulling the ideas around in my head to see if I can think of a pattern that would be a row by row, but also come together in a whole pattern. Oh yeah, that's, that's, let's all tune into Anita and see what she comes up with. <laughs> I can have so much pressure. Oh yeah, I, and I love this idea, particularly the one with the row of applique. It breaks up the uniformity a bit, yes. I'm sure you could give some good guidance on how to do this. <laughs> It'd be unique to each person, wouldn't it though? Hmm, here's a Christmas theme, houses, trees, two colors, red and white snowflakes <clears throat> excuse me yeah i'm looking at my computer sorry folks i really like the ones with the suns no to itty bitty so a lot of people aren't wanting to do the little tiny things maybe a feature applique row i like that idea anyway okay so that folks is um on the agenda i'm going to be uh, putting my thinking cap on, figuring out what kind of fabric I want to use, a uh, background fabric. And again, as you know, I, I'm not really good with like telling you what kind of fabric to, or how much fabric to buy. I would think a pack of fat quarters, um, or, or whatever is in your scraps to make it a, more of a scrappy look. There does have to be, as I was saying before, some uniformity to the, to the, to the quilt or to the row. But again, at the end of the day, we will, I think what I would do is I would just embark on a row, maybe take a couple of weeks to explain what I did or, or whatever, or, or a couple of days or whatever it is, however it is. And then we put that aside. So everybody's quilt, if you are following along, everybody's quilt can be put together differently. Or if you don't want a, a butterfly, you could maybe do like a, just a ladybug. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But like something like that. So t everybody could make it a little bit th unique themselves. I don't know what size it's going to end up, but I do know I do like the, like a vertical border, maybe like a birdhouse. That would be nice at the very end if we're a little bit more comfortable. A birdhouse with like a post with some greenery going up it. Something like that to applique. Something like that to, to break it up. Anyway, so I want to just thank you guys for the enthusiasm that you have expressed here. It's like, oh my word. <laughs> I opened a whole can of worms. <laughs> I got to do this now. Now it's exciting. So I'm going to look at my fabric. I'll come back to you for that. I just wanted to check in and say hello to everybody. And like I said, I was outside. I was just outside. It's chucking down with rain and there's a flood watch. <laughs> Max O came in. He said, Mom, there's a flood watch. I'm like, okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's just stay calm. Let's just stay calm. Anyway, um, I think this will be fun. I think this will be fun. And I have another idea that um, I'm... Oh, wait a second. My camera's going to click off. Hold on just a sec. I was looking in my viewfinder and there's a red flashing image that the battery was dying. Um, anyway, I had one little thought. I don't know how we could do that and if it's practical or whatever. But I was thinking about it. It's so enjoyable for me to read my comments and to see our, our lovely little YouTube family here. And so many of you know each other's names from from the comments because so many of you are so kind and and comment on some so many of my videos anita and angie and edna 
Kathy, Kristen Krim, Pat, Diana, um, Bella Ann, Debbie, there's hundreds of you, Donna, Esther, Kylie, Johanna, Karen, Anita, of course, Heidi, um, Anne, Stefan, of course, Margaret, yeah, I like that, especially Margaret, I, Margaret Newman, you know who you are, I love this idea, Jean, and we'll definitely be doing it with you, it also allows us to do as many blocks in a row as we like, row along with Jean is a great title, there you go, I'm doing a row along with Jean, I can't wait to get started. Love as usual to the true loves. Now, I was thinking about it, all these lovely names and all of these lovely comments that I know you by your comment. I would love it if I could see your face. And I don't know how to do that. Like, I would, you, you know what I look like. You know what Maxwell looks like. You know what nine, number three son looks like. You know what our daughter-in-laws look like. You know what Ian looks like. You know what our house looks like. It's so funny. I don't know what you guys look like. And I was thinking, oh, I would love to know what Sully's mom looks like. <laughs> That's so lovely. Oh, Sully's mom comments. I think you'd be a wonderful person to learn a new technique from. You're a self-taught quilter. Yep. Who found different ways to get there. And so am I. A fat quarter is waiting and a curious mind itching to follow along. How lovely. Continue to enjoy your fantastic house guests. Oh, our house guest left. My husband, Ian. Oh, last night at three o'clock in the morning. Roger, our deaf friend from London, he had a flight to England um, with British Air and it was canceled. I canceled last minute. Like just willy nilly. Sorry. Uh, so we were scrambling to find, because he has a, a, an obligation back in England, in London, um, as a sign language interpreter, the sign language guy, um, for some videos um, for, our, for our organization that he does. Um, and he was, he was sort of summoned, like, we need you. And so they, he could only get a flight. Oh, my word. We usually go from, to Philadelphia or to even Newark, New Jersey. We could only get a flight from JFK. <laughs> And if anybody of you on the East Coast knows, John F. Kennedy Airport in New York is the worst. It is terrible. It's only as the crow flies from Newark right there. But it's another hour with traffic and tolls. It is a nightmare. And that's the only flight that we could get for Roger out. of. We couldn't get it from Philadelphia or Newark, which is fine, or Trenton. Couldn't, and nothing was going because of the King's Coronation. Everybody's going to England. So well, he's not, he lives there. He lives in Hampstead and he, but he's like, oh my word. So his flight was canceled. So my husband and he were up at three o'clock this morning. <laughs> Poor Ian. <laughs> he, and it's a, like a two and a half hour drive from our house. And it's a hard drive. It's not nice. So I felt so bad for him. But anyway, so Margaret, hold on. Let me see. What did, what did Margaret say now? We are going to be doing, I'm all over the place. You must excuse me. A row along with Jean. I got to I got to write that down. So this is my row along with Jean. Thank you so much. I'd love to see your faces. Maybe you could email me a picture. Nah, whatever. I just think, oh, I would love to know what you guys look like because you know what we all look like. But it's just so lovely. Thank you so much for all your enthusiasm for this new project that I am going to do. So I just wanted to quickly, I'll just quickly edit this if I have to edit this part and um, throw it up. And this is on a Sunday. And um, I want to just thank you guys so very much again for all of your um, participation and your anxious, you know, to be, to be uh, embarking on this project together. It should be fun. See what we come up with. All right, folks. Have a lovely day. Safe. Keep dry. I'm soaking wet. All right, everybody. See you later. Love from the true loves. Bye.